What's going on guys, Sean B here and today I want to show you guys my dungeon farming team on the main account because we had a pretty pretty major patch for dungeon taking away wave number two and also the twin nerf patch. So in this video I want to talk to you guys about my dungeon farming, what's the plan and twins are they dead? You know, let's find out. First is my giants b10 farming team. And I think my runes are pretty average on this unit. This is Lucian. He can kill the trash wave no problem. And you want to have a 100% crit rate on your Lucian so that you will always crit and kill everything in a trash wave. This is my Talia who's on Rage because when she used this skill, I want her to just one shot the enemy. I don't want me expecting a violent proc from Talia. I want her to kill. This is my Sabrina. She's on Violent, Attack with Damage Attack because she's the main ammo breaker for the team. So I want her to have as much chance as possible to defense break the boss. This is my Melissa. She's pretty good in Giants. She's a win unit. She does a lot of damage with this skill. So she's here. She's faster than my Sabrina. I'm trying to slow her down a little bit. But these runes work pretty well for me in R5. I'm using her in R5 as well. So this is my Melissa for now. I'm gonna build a Crow in place of the Lin because I think Crow is so much more consistent. And Crow brings more utility than Lin. But Lin has explosive damage. I built her for the Deva video so I'm not really investing into her. I never really use Lin in my life because I think she needs to be set up so perfectly that if anything messed up, Lin can't really perform. So in the last patch, they take out a second wave of dungeon which means you only need one Lucian to clear the trash wave if Lucian actually has a brain. As you can see right here, my Lucian didn't really have a brain, so he used the second skill instead of the skill three. I don't know why they don't want us to have good AI in dungeon. I just, I just don't know. Here, Lucian should be using AMP, but no, Lucian decides to use the default attack for whatever reason that they called them to like, Lucian, use default attack. And they use default attack, but if you have a perfect run, Lucian will be using skill 3, you kill the midi boss, use, Lucian will use skill 3 again, and then you go straight to the main boss and you kill the main boss. If I have branding over there, I should have end the boss, but the Lin is 5 star, not very good runes. As you can see, even on a bad run, you get easily 40 seconds because now with only one Lucian, you can bring in another single target damage in your team so that you can take out the boss so much faster. In the past, when you have to bring two Lucian, Lucian is pretty useless in the boss stage. They don't do a lot of damage. They are only there because you need to clear the trash wave fast. In this mini boss, you need to land the armor break. If not, if you take too long to kill this thing, Lucian will actually use amp. You want Lucian to amp right here, but this Lucian is <laughs> very rare to see a good run, right? It's just very rare to see a good run. In the boss stage, Lucian doesn't really do anything. So now dungeon is so much easier because you can kill the main boss faster and you only require one Lucian to clear the trash wave. But in the future, I won't be farming a lot of giant speed 10 anymore because it's so disappointing to try and fight Swift Rune, man. <laughs> I can't upgrade anything. I just can't. I spent like four months in, in giants and nothing happened. So in the future, I'll be farming more dragons and I'll be farming more necro. This is my dragons team. I'm using Deva. Why? I, I don't know. I just want to have fun with Deva. I six star her, so I want to put her in. And she actually gave me a 28 second run. That is not bad. Attack with damage and attack. I do know that there are Lin and Crow team out there. I do know. But in my opinion, if one of those unit derp, there's no coming back. For twins, you can't really derp with twins because they bring another unit with them. No matter what, they're going to do a lot of damage. Okay, we land the armor break. Good, good, good. Deva put dots and I think that's actually pretty good. Sometimes I can't really kill the boss and then suddenly the dot kill the boss, which is pretty decent if not defense damage. So Talia also has very bad AI. She, she just doesn't want to do deadly dance. <laughs> if she does it, is like 80k damage with my rage set on her but for now i think my dragon is also pretty consistent i fail one or twice in 
in a long time. <laughs> Can't keep count, man. But I do fail when ammo break just refuse to land, and that does happen because in this game, that 15% can be a real total asshole to happen. But normally, pretty simple. Amp, kill mini boss, and then can you just do it, man? <laughs> I have I prepared two AOE right here. Shina move first and then Deva move after. Just in case Lucian derp, I can still clear the trash wave pretty pretty easily. You can see that? Like, is there an AI in Talia that decides for her to not do deadly dance? Sometimes she does deadly dance without even buffing herself, so I, I just don't get it. <laughs> oh this unit. Why can I not have good AI? What's the point of this? It's just to Increase our play time in the app, isn't it? Come to us because you want us to spend more time looking, looking at this meaningless dungeon runs, so that you can have more play time on the app, so that you put shitty AI. Because there are some unit, you put perfect AI for dungeon like Bella Dion. Bella will only strip when there's buff on the enemy in dungeon, but that's the only thing. Or Megan as well. But if you put any other single target strip on in the dungeon no they just spam the skill whenever it's available like lauren so why can you do it for bella and megan but not just code good ai for the rest of us like lucian like talia using deadly dance like this you see that that's a very very good run right there can i get a 30 second 38 so this is my dragons b10 team right now is i think it's pretty pretty okay using the same team same concept and twins in necro works even even better i'll be farming a lot of necro because i really really need wheel runes when you get outsped in rta the best answer to that is having wheel runes and violent and i can't see myself getting better swift set so the only way for me to maintain ranks in rta can deal with people with fast rune is having wheel runes because the meta is single target strip if you ban one or two single target strip and you have full wheel rune team, the enemy is not going to have a very good time against you. When you watch high level RTA, there's always one big question or even high level RTA stream, sometimes they ask themselves, hmm, what if he's on full wheel and then lucky for them in high rank RTA, people are so confident in their speed, they don't put wheel runes on everybody. And that's when Gany is really, really strong. But if you have full wheel team and enemy pick one or two stripper, you ban one of that, suddenly you're at a very good spot because they can't do anything to your team. So I'll try my best to find more wheel runes in Necro B10. For the boss stage, I'm actually going for the tower first because sometimes when Fran derp, she just refused to do the AOE buff and then if suddenly the armor break land on my twins, the dog will just turn on my twins let's say friend cleanse herself so that's pretty dangerous so i find that clearing out the towers with twin doesn't really take a lot of time so i'm gonna add in another couple seconds to make sure that my runs are smooth and safe don't want to waste energy okay gonna take like a minute 15 which is totally cool a little bit longer than before comparing to the vert run but you know i'm cool with that this is my current R5 setup. I love it that I can do it with a random person on the internet as long as that person has a decent team like this guy. I'm gonna check out the Colleen. The Colleen looks pretty good. I can have a very, very fast run. So let's go. Man, I'm glad I found a good guy and he's running. I think if you consider Skogo a damage dealer, that is a four damage dealer team. So let's check out the runes on my on my team. This is Fran on Violent for RTA purpose, there's my Lisa. It doesn't need to be on violent as long as you are fast, tanky, and high resist. There's Bella for healing. I really need Bella because smart heal is very, very important. Zaolin on vampire on frontline. Rogue on violent for RTA for guild battle. You want Rogue to be on violent. But in the future, I may take out Rogue for a crow. Or I actually may even take out Bella for a crow. We'll see how stable that can be. And this is my Hua on broken set they didn't need to be on violent this is my second team my colleen who is on leftover runes you just need to be fast and tanky oh my goodness she is dead where is the attack break oh crap sometimes when when you miss attack break that happen 
that happened. But yeah, Bastet is on level of Swift Rune, and I have my Shina and Melissa for dungeon run. I have my Jean, who is for PvP, but because he can do so much damage here, he can actually do like 50k if you have the passive on. And most of the time, it's pretty stable. We're done with R5. KB5 can do it in 30 seconds, but building a KB5 team requires a lot of effort. You have to build a specific unit in a specific way. You have to pe have people run it with you, and having a max skill Bailey is it's too much work, man. I got so many other stuff to build for content. I can't be investing into that thing. So Paper Cup? Wait, what was this? What's the guy? Shit, I can't remember his name. Uh, paper thin. Yeah. Oh, 44 seconds. Let's go. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Who needs KV5? Hell yeah. All right. Good night, crack. Appreciate you stopping by, man. Why would KBT want to do this with you when they can just... <laughs> hey, sometimes, you know, sometimes you just don't have a friend to do your KB5 with. And then... Suddenly a wild Sean B appear and we can hit it off and do sub one minute run. Hell yeah. Dang. So I try my best to build two triple damage dealer R5 team. And so far, if I have a Katarina person on the left and that person run a Jemaya, I can get sub one minute run pretty easily. But I only need a decent guy on the left to have a one minute, 20 second run. And to me, that is so much faster than what R5 used to be, which is long, two minute run in the public, yikes. But now I can actually do it with a random guy on the internet, which I try offline. You know, before recording this, I try to run R5 with a random guy and it was pretty easy. He doesn't need to be too strong and I can still get a minute 30 second run. And I believe that is more than enough for me to be motivated to do R5. Because R5 is annoying. Now I have two different teams that, that are using the unit that I already had in the past. I don't have to build anything new. So I can just do R5 like this. You know, no need to build anything new. You can try to copy this. I don't think they are very tanky. The stats are pretty normal <laughs> per se. I don't know. I'm not too sure. But I'm loving this team. Even the, the right team is doing a lot of damage. It's carrying itself pretty well. Oh, it's actually doing the most damage. Isn't that amazing? Because Jean can easily do like 30k default attack, 50k second skill without branding. With Crow in this team, we're going to see some branding and that's going to be really, really cool. One minute R5, man. Like, this is great. I'm going to do so much more R5. All right, guys, that's my farming team for this month. If you have any question, let me know down below and I'll try to answer you. If you have any questions about speed farming team, you know, whatever you want to say in the comment section, just let me know down below and smash the like button. Subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.